Brent here, speak English with this guy. And this is another English lesson in a hotel. I don't know, I've done maybe seven or eight of these. And it's always the same thing. I'm outside of the hotel. We are going to walk around the hotel and learn English. And I cannot stop recording until I get to my room. And my room is in 205. Here's my, here's my key. So we're going to see the, uh, if there's a, I don't even know if there's a pool here. We'll see the gym, if there's a gym. Uh, I might get asked to stop recording. I know people are going to look at me very strange and say, why is that guy holding a camera? But if they ask, I'll tell them, but I mean, you need to learn English, right? And you can learn it at a hotel just in case you ever come here to the United States. So let's improve your English. You probably know that one, right? Trash can. We would probably call that an ashtray. Yeah, and this is the Sinesta Select. And uh, just got something just, something is dripping on me. Ooh, there are drops falling from the, the roof. All right, but I don't want to get anybody else on camera, so I'm going to have to be careful of how I film. No, I'm okay. And you're Dustin, right? We call that a luggage cart. It's a really nice lobby here. Let's look at these things called pods. And the reason I know it's a pod is because it says it on the TV. All right, and this is the pod furthest from people. So let's look at this one. Pod three. You can sit here, watch some TV. There's a little seat for one person. You can have a couple friends here. And right over here is a bar. Yeah, if you hear people, there are a lot of people checking in right now. That's probably the first thing you do when you come to a hotel is you check in. So you go to reception and they give you your room. We're room 205, remember 205. So they have a jar of limes. That's a bottle opener. I think we might call that a shot glass. It's five o'clock. They don't open for another hour, so we can't get a drink right now. I don't know a lot about wine, but those were some of the prices. And if you wanted a Bud Light, it is $6. It sounds a little expensive to me, but you're at a hotel, so you don't have to worry about driving anywhere if you wanna have a drink. The sign says, tips greatly appreciated. So in some countries, you tip, you give a little money after the service. In the United States, tips are usually appreciated. They like them. So this is actually a coffee place. You may have heard it. It's Starbucks. In one video, I pretended I didn't know how to say Starbucks. I said like Starbucks, Starbucks. 
And people in the comment section said, wait, you're an English teacher. You don't know how to pronounce Starbucks? So I, I better not fool around. It's Starbucks. I know it's Starbucks. That was um, in the lesson in Arizona near the Grand Canyon. I can maybe put a link to that lesson at the end of this one. So if, if you want some non-alcoholic drinks, you can get those. That is a pin, you probably know that, right? But it's in a cup of coffee beans. All right, let's see what's down this way. Oh, wait, before we go there, let's take a look at another part of the lobby. We have a remote control. You can sit here, relax, watch some TV. I would love to relax. I had a long car drive, but that wouldn't be teaching you any English if I just relaxed here now, would it? There's some outlets here. Some outlets so you can plug things up if you need to. a light switch I just turned on this lamp let's turn it off we'll use the light switch light switch oh. you know this right pillow probably call that a couch some chairs That might be an in table. We thank you for standing six feet apart. That was social distancing. We don't have to worry about that too much. But in the United States, we stayed six feet apart. You might have stayed meters apart. What is it, one meter? No, no, we don't use meters in the United States. All right, so fire extinguisher. Uh, to extinguish a fire, it means to put it out. It means to stop the fire from burning. And it looks like if there was a fire, I would have to punch that. It says to open, strike here. Strike is another way to say hit. Employees only, so you can only enter if you work here. That's another way to get outside of the hotel. I think we'd call this a gate, and it's a locked gate. And we'll have to find a way to try to get in there somehow. I think there's a Lowe's behind this hotel. Do you know what a Lowe's is? It's a home improvement store. We have two big chains of hotel improvements. Uh, home improvement, did I say hotel? Home improvement stores. Lowe's and Home Depot. There's a Lowe's back there. Guess what? It is a beautiful day out today. Yeah, the camera is a little brighter than normal. My face might be a little brighter than normal, but it's so dark in the hotel. Ooh, I think I might have found the pool. Is that the pool? Hey, that's not creepy at all. Guy with a camera trying to see the pool. 
I think that's the pool, but I'm too short. I can't, I can't see in the pool there. I think it's the pool. The ceiling looks like it might be a pool. I'm sure they will call security on me. Hey, why is this guy filming around the hotel? But that, that'll be fun too, right? We can explain to the security guards that, no, I'm just teaching English. see if we can get in here oh yeah I heard it click click do you know that word click it's the sound it made oh there's ice machine down here before we get to the ice machine we can check out the laundry Okay, those lights were off, but when I walked in here, they came on. We would call that um, like a motion detector. A motion detector, turn those lights on. Motion meaning movement. So it detected, the motion detector detected some movement. And so the lights turned on. cycle times that means how long it takes to wash your clothes like one cycle for the washer is 40 minutes it's a dryer two dollars and fifty cents random telephone for no reason Ice dispenser, a dispenser, that's a noun, it's a thing. Ice dispenser, it dispenses ice. Dispense, a verb to like give, dispense, yeah, to give. We might use the English phrasal verb to give out. Mm. Are there people in the pool area? No. Okay, so I won't look too creepy for filming the pool. All right, so, whoa. That's, a, that's a heavy door. I almost fell, the door pushed me. Yeah. Shallow water, meaning not deep. If the water was deep, you could dive head first. That person is diving head first. But did you notice in the picture, their head fell off. Like their head is no longer attached to their body. So you don't wanna dive in this pool, it's too shallow. And of course it's in feet. It's five feet deep. I am five foot 10. So like average height for a guy, I could, uh, my head could probably stay above the water, but the rest of my body would be underwater. Some towels so you can dry off, another phrasal verb, but when you're wet, you might use a towel to dry off. beverage it's a drink another way to say a drink so if you wanted that beer in the lobby you couldn't bring it here you could not bring it here looks like they have a hot tub or we might call that a spa oh i think we can switch on the spa let's see I didn't bring my bathing suit, but this is a nice pool. 
Maybe I'll find some way to go in the pool later. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. It does sound like there are some people on the other side of those trees. So they will probably think I'm weird for filming. But look at this, there's a fire pit over here. what we call a fire pit and there are some people playing cornhole but I won't get them on camera hey hello I won't get you guys on camera uh, just uh, filming a video uh, <laughs> I'll get it's called cornhole right here thank you yeah. you play it with bean bags cornhole have you ever heard of that cornhole cornhole try to get back in here some oh no wait can we I was gonna say that's not very secure I can just walk in I don't need my key card but it's probably the only way you can get probably the only way you can get to that door is other doors using key cards There's the elevator. I could take that to my room, but it's only one flight of stairs up. It's only one flight up, so we'll take the stairs. We didn't see, did we see the fitness center? Another, another fire extinguisher. Hmm. I don't, fire equipment protected from theft. Are there a lot of people that try to steal fire extinguishers? Again, you would have to break that thing to get it open. If there was a fire, I guess you have to use your fist. Oh, some people are trying to get in the door down there. Oh, they got in. Um, didn't it say the laundry? Laundry was down this way and the fitness center. Let's check. More people though. I won't I won't get them on camera. It's right here, Alana. Now I just gotta remember. Somebody's looking for their room. A lot of people in this hallway. We missed the fitness center. We were down here just a minute ago. Did I walk right by it? Did I walk right past I think I did. Why didn't you tell me to stop at the fitness center right here? That's the pool over there. All right, I don't think anybody's working out here. Oh, nice little click and we're in. Crushed it. If you do really well at something, you can say you crushed it. Hey. How did you do on that English, <clears throat> excuse me, English test? Oh, I crushed it. Did really well. Those are dumbbells. If you saw my live lesson about health and fitness, you would know dumbbell and you would know treadmill. And you would know elliptical machine. And you would know, uh, now nah, we didn't talk about dirty towels, but if you worked out here and you dirtied a towel with your sweat, you would put it in there. But we are not working out today. I should though, I should. Oh no, it's out of order. One of the treadmills is out of order. I am surprised that nobody from the hotel has received a complaint about some guy filming. I thought, I thought this is the, the lesson that I would get caught filming. Do you see that? It said fresh air looks good on you.
you can say I'm going outside for some fresh air. It's just better than the air inside a building. Yeah, fresh air. It is so nice out. I promise when I'm done filming this lesson, I'm going outside. I promise. There's the laundry again. Let's find my room. You just saw my dad's shoes. I don't know what this is. There's like a little bump in the carpet, but I don't know why. Remember one flight of stairs. So it's just like one set of stairs. Just one flight of stairs and we are now on level two. Also known as the second floor. Not much of a view. Where is two? That's 247. We are looking for, we're looking for 205. I don't think there's a whole lot I can teach right here. Pretty much all looks the same. Call that a door handle. I'm not going to pull on that door handle because that's not my room. Security would probably be called on me for that too. But hey, you need to learn English, right? If they call security on me, I am willing to have that happen. Is it cold in here or is it just us? Is it cold in here or is it just us? Do you get that joke? That's supposed to be a joke. Okay, if somebody is attractive, if they are pretty, if they're good looking, you might call them hot, okay? If somebody's good looking, you might say, well, they're hot. There's a joke in the United States, maybe in other English speaking places too, but there's a joke in the United States. It says, oh, is it hot in here or is it me? Or is it hot in here or is it just me? So like you call yourself like good looking, but the room is actually hot. You could say, is it hot in here or is it just me? Yeah. Do you wanna impress your English speaking friends? Say that, oh, is it hot in here or is it just me? You're calling yourself good looking. Oh, before we get to my room, if you're enjoying this lesson, do you mind hitting like? Also share the lesson if you think other people learning English might be helped by it. We went past my room. Right there, 205. Now my family is here with me, but they're not supposed to be in the room. Hello? Hello? No, they are not. So let's take a quick look at the room here. Microwave plastic cups wrapped in plastic. I did tell the people in the lobby. Wow, I can hear people. These walls must be thin. If you can hear people on the other side of the wall, you can say, wow, these walls are thin. But um, the shower didn't drain very quickly. Do you know what that means? The shower draining? It's when the water goes down that little hole or those lots of little holes. Yeah, so the shower had a slow drain to it. Let's make some suds. Did you know suds are the, the bubbly thing? Um, when you have soap on your hands and you rub your hands together, those are suds. What is that? Can you read it? Is that dreaming? Hair starts here. 
Time to come clean. Oh. Time to come clean. Do you know what that, do you know what that means in English? It means um, you might be lying to someone. You might not be telling the truth. Somebody might say, hey, come clean with me. Tell me the truth. What is that? What, what, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? That's bad. That's a dad joke right there. Like, what are you thinking? But they said water. Okay, let's get some lights on in here. That's the room. We have a king size bed. And then we have like a small sofa here. Maybe you call that a love seat. I'm not sure. It's, it's a small sofa or a love seat. That is an ottoman, an ottoman. Yeah, you can put your feet on an ottoman if you are sitting on a love seat. Well, this love seat pulls out into a bed. Okay, pulls out, English phrasal verb. Tonight before my son goes to bed, we will figure out how we pull that little sofa out and make it a bed for him. Yeah. Oh. I just threw that cushion over there. That's called a cushion. You see the mattress down there? That pulls out into a bed. There's the fan over there. We will have some white noise to sleep with tonight. Let's check out the view. Dirty windows and uh, not a great view, but somebody is outside walking their dog. All right. That's it. That's the English lesson. Almost a half an hour. I hope your English is better now. Thank you so much for watching. Right up there is an English lesson I did near the Grand Canyon. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.